Hey, what's up folks? Pat here with Advanced Acrylics. I'm so glad that you've joined us for another video. We're switching things up. We took a trip down the coast to pay a visit to Chad with Jim Corals. He's unveiling his new business venture, and today we're gonna to get a sneak peek of what's to come. The Frag Tank, Frag Racks, PVC Hybrid Sump, ATO, Dosers, and Lighting were all purchased from Advanced Acrylics. We are crazy excited for the future of Jim Corals, and honor that they chose us to be a part of this gorgeous build. So kick back and enjoy the interview. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for future video notifications. Pat with Advanced Acrylics here. We're here with uh, Chad out in California. Uh, one of our awesome customers. He has this wonderful design here that I couldn't, I couldn't wait to show you guys. So uh, Chad, we're gonna be talking a little bit about what, what your ideal was, um, your plan, and um, your intention behind having this this awesome setup. So Chad, how you doing today? Pretty good, hey everybody. Cool. So, um, give us a little rundown on what you what you had in mind when you had this this setup built. So I've been in the hobby about 15 years now. Um, I'm just a, a passionate reefer, and finally have the means to try and uh, give something back to the community. And really, the idea behind this is. Um, you know, both the passion play, but also it stems from a little bit of frustration as myself as a hobbyist. Um, you know, going out there, you'll see frags that are a half inch for five, seven hundred dollars, no description, no colony photo, um, and I just find it to be kind of an underwhelming buying experience. So the idea with Jim Corals is really to try and uh, kind of up, up the game, provide better information. Every coral uh, will be grown here under multiple conditions. We'll be able to tell you the, the best conditions for that particular piece. 100% uh, pest free. So, so kind of give me a bit more of a breakdown as far as um, what type of corals you're going to be having here. Yeah, so Gem Coral is going to focus on higher end SPS. You know, every coral here, uh, again, mainly SPS, is going to be grown under uh, both, you know, moderate, say 250, 300 par, as well as 500 par. So you'll be able to tell, um, you know, before you can, you can place the piece correctly uh, without having to figure out that. It's a Triton system, something that I've run on my personal displays for years now uh, and have come to really enjoy. It, uh, is just for, for me and my experience the ultimate ease of maintenance. Uh, my water chemistry tracks nearly perfect uh, by just maintaining 8 dKH alkalinity. Um, so tip, typically you probably see calcium reactors on a system this size. Um, kind of time will tell if, if I add that in and make it kind of a hybrid system, but for now, um, in my experience, the Triton system really provides a lot of ease of maintenance. On that, we have a set of tridents here. I've got a display on the opposite side of this wall. So that's why you see two. Um, that is new to me so far going excellent. Uh, really making managing the tank easy. Uh, and then below this, you can see the dosing setup. Uh, again, the, the larger one in the back, these are my triton dosing. And then the smaller one is for uh, various supplements. Particularly as it goes with Triton, I dose uh, nitrate and phosphate. Uh, the system just eats it up, which I like. Um, I can feed as much as I want, I have no problems with nutrients. Um, and I actually run my system to target the export system to zero nutrients and then I dose to the level that I want to maintain. So uh, I find that to be an extremely easy way to maintain a stable uh, nutrient level at whatever it is you're targeting. We have the chiller, um, waste container here for the tridents, and then a skimmate locker. And it's the last of it for now. And then the power board, battery backups, really try and add as much redundancies on my tank as possible. All right, so I know what this bad boy is, right? CO2 scrubber, isn't it? That is. Yeah, so, um, you know, raising the pH, keeping it 
elevated kind of in the mid eights um, has been my preference. I've seen much better growth uh, in corals. So I've got that plumbed into the back of the skimmer cup here, which really increases the longevity of the CO2 media. All right, Chad, so let's talk brains, man. Brains. So um, exp kind of give me a quick rundown of this, um, what are we gonna call this? Organized chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we've got just a, a full Neptune suite on this one, and really on all my tanks, I, uh, knock on wood, have pretty much never had any issue uh, with their stuff, so I, I really like it. Um, pretty much got one of every Neptune device you could think of on this tank, or two of them. Yeah, so up here we have the set of dosers, the Trident dosing. Have nitrate, phosphate, and then two supplements, kind of TPD. And then I guess lighting, we haven't talked about lighting. Yeah. yeah. So lighting, we have six radions here. Um, you know, in, in my displays, I generally run a hybrid setup and get some T5s going to prevent shadowing, but here in Frag Tank, I really like the flexibility of the LEDs. Um, and then I've also got the diffusers on these to get a nice spectrum. The uh, running at 100%, about 17 inches above the tank here, and getting uh, anywhere from 200 in the corners to 550, uh, kind of in the middle of the tank, far range, so we have a nice spread uh, and a lot of room to grow corals under various lighting conditions. All right, so this is the control panel here, huh? Yep, so here's the Neptune display. Um, as mentioned, you can see we've Got pretty much one of everything on the on the system. It's kind of interesting looking. Yeah, so this goes back to you know just my goal to provide really uh, you know high quality pest free uh, corals. Every coral that goes into this tank uh, is going to be inspected under microscopes, dipped repeatedly. Uh, you can be rest assured any coral coming from us is not going to have pests, including pest algae. All the plugs are going to be removed, only fresh plugs, live tissue go into this tank. Uh, no pass through from wholesalers. So really just we'll be providing uh, uh, comfort uh, that you can, you know, put these frags directly in DT if you choose, um, which is a rarity in the hobby. Uh, well, hey, Chad, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for spending a little bit of time with us uh, to film this video, letting me come in here and and um, look at all your, your glory here with a fine tooth comb. I know all the viewers appreciate it too. So, hey, we're signing out. Uh, this is Pat with Advanced Acrylics and Chad with Jim Corals. Be on the lookout, guys. He's doing big things. And um, go ahead and look down be below for, for more information on his company to come. Probably you said in, in about how long? Yeah, I, I'm hoping to launch the, the website within a year. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, Pat, and thanks, John. It's been great working with you guys. The tank couldn't be better. Uh, it's been a pleasure.